Hey class, it's Mr. Falstrom, and in this video, we are going to learn how to take a whole number and divide it by a fraction. So if you just look right here, I have the problem 2 divided by 1 third, so our whole number is 2. I made it blue to match the words. And then our fraction in this problem is the 1 third, and I will make that red to match the words. So again, we are going to learn how to take a whole number and divide it by a fraction. And the first way I'm going to show you how to do this is with a picture. And I know some of you are already going, oh boy, um, especially after our, I tried to have you draw models for multiplying fractions. I'm always trying to make you draw pictures, honestly. And I know that some of you aren't a fan, but I actually think that out of all the pictures I've tried to have you draw, these are some of the easiest. It's pretty easy. Just watch. Um, so first thing we're going to do is we're going to draw two holes. So I'm just going to draw two rectangles. And we're just going to pretend that that's perfect. I am using my right hand, and I am not right-handed. So we're going to pretend those are the same, even though they're they're not. We're going to pretend they are. There's our two holes. We're going to pretend they're perfectly the same. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to divide each hole into thirds. So if I take two holes and I divide each one into thirds, how many pieces did I make? And... The number of pieces that we made is the answer. So, I mean, if we just kind of check them off here, I'm going to do some check marks. Let's count one piece, two pieces, three pieces, four pieces, five pieces. I made six pieces. So if I take two, so it's basically like if I had two candy bars and I broke each candy bar into thirds, how many candy bar pieces do I have? I would have six pieces. And that is our answer to this problem. So we just divided a whole number by a fraction. Yay. Um, I'm going to reset this, and we're going to do a couple more. And the next problem we're going to do is 3 divided by 1 fourth. So again, uh, our whole number is 3. Our fraction is 1 fourth. We're dividing a whole number by a fraction. And instead of doing a picture this time, um, I do have these fraction tiles available. So we're going to use those. Those are a little neater. So here's one hole. Here's two holes. And here is here are three holes. So I have three holes. And I'm just going to stick them together for now, I guess. And I'm going to take each hole and I want to divide it into force. So if I, so again, maybe think of like candy bars or granola bars. If I had three candy bars, three orange candy bars, and then I cut each candy bar into force into four equal parts, how many pieces do I have now? And if you just count them up, Um, you know, you can just count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So you could count another way you could do it is you could just kind of say like, hey, this this side, you know, in a this side is three, this side is four, and you could just do four times three and get twelve. But no matter how you do it, the answer is 12. And here is one final problem. We're going to take two holes and divide them into fists. And so you can draw two holes and just break them into five parts. I'm just going to show you again with the tiles. Here are two holes. If I decide I want to break each one into five equal pieces, that one is now broken into five equal pieces, and now I will break my other hole into five equal pieces. 
how many pieces altogether are there? The answer is 10. If I have two holes and I break each hole into five pieces, now I've turned two holes into 10 equal size parts. So that's how you divide a whole number by a fraction um, with a picture. And I hope this was helpful for you, and I will see you again soon on the next video.